Good evening, everybody. It's Friday. We're going to the movies. But first, we gotta eat dinner. But before that, we have a special opening to today's vlog. And that is a really intense mail time. First of all, props for the pure honesty, but you did <laughs> not have to say that. This is ridiculous. This was super nice. Literally, I almost, so, secret guys, I sometimes open up the boxes and the P.O. box. Sometimes. Every single time I've opened up the boxes the P.O. box by myself before I come home, and I literally almost started crying. Amy, you are too, too. Like I've blueberries. Too, too kind. So look at this. This is all from. Southwest Michigan? Yes. Running socks? Yeah, and look at the, look at the heels. So, you want to know a funny story? Um, when we first moved here and we went to, uh, Sarah was not here. She was in Chicago for the baby shower, and I went to Splitsville. I accidentally stole a pair of socks that were super nice running socks with that super fancy ankle bump and I love it. And they're my only my pair. And I don't think I've ever mentioned it, so it's amazing that you just put those two pairs in because I've been wanting to get more of those. I know, and the ones you have are like bright red. This is crazy town. This is the craziness. This is, I never imagined in a million years I'd get any mail, let alone brand new fancy Running shoes. These new running shoes so look bad. how look at their see-through. They're so easy breezy, which is so nice because it's getting hot. Tomorrow morning, I'm going on a four-mile run dedicated to you, Amy, in those new kicks. <laughs> That's so awesome. Thank you so much. But I so appreciate it. It means the world to me because like that run means the world to me. Like the dopey challenge means the world to me because I'm really at the end of the day like I'm running it. For Sarah and for like our babies, like that's what was in my mind when I said I'm gonna do this. It's to be healthy for our family, and so thank you for helping accomplish that dream. And here's where the fun stuff, more fun stuff, comes in that we're gonna use tonight when we go to the movies. Irish punch coffee. This coaster. And these, there's signs on the like bike trails around Lake Michigan. Oh, and a bunch of Adidas swag, like these, these pens. And this little. And that luggage tag. This is what we're bringing in the movies, I think, tonight. So we've got here. Oh, this from is tea. The South Bend Chocolate Company. Red Tart Michigan Cherries Dark Chocolate. And chocolate covered blueberries. Can you say we are the luckiest people? <laughs> yes. Like, never in a million oh, years did I think. So, what? I said I'm opening this right now. All right, so that was box one. Mm. How is that? Can I try one? Are these the tarts? Mm -mm. Blueberries? Yeah. Oh yeah. Those are not going to make it past the previews. And this box here is from Courtney and Derek. So I was reading the letter right now. We like to read the letters first. Mm -hmm. And the little something that came in the envelope, you did not... On the trip that we met them on. Did we meet them before or after the engagement? We met them before the engagement because then I followed them on Instagram and I saw that they got engaged. They're from Buffalo, New York. And they messaged us letting us know the package is coming, so thank you for letting us know. Because they sent us these fancy chocolates from Buffalo. And it's so cute, you guys sent them in like little ice packs, which are cold. These are cold, but they have melted if they were frozen before. And the thing is, there's sponge cake in here, and I think, didn't Dan and Dawn send us Buffalo sponge cake before? And I loved it. It was so good. It was like confusing. Really good. So literally some of this stuff is so funny because like this is chocolate in the shape of buffalo ch <laughs> chicken wings. Guys, guys, let me tell you something. We don't expect mail. We don't ask for mail, but we love the mail. We do like, we truly appreciate it because like we feel like we know you the most. Like you guys know everything about us as much as we tell you. And we tell you, we tell you, we tell you about like 80% of our lives. Like besides where we live and where I work, we tell you literally everything else. So we love, and that's why we try to comment back on every single comment on on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, because we love that community and like learning to learn more about you guys. So we love the cards, even just like we've gotten many just postcards, letters, stuff like this, like where you're, like the city information of where you're from, because we love America too. We love this stuff. This is called Pop. Aunt Rosie's. Loganberry. Mm -hmm. Wait, she's so sad she's not getting all the attention. So we need a belly rubs break. Radish prepared mustard. Ooh. Oh my gosh, wing sauce. This last one is super interesting. Wait, did you show the Tim Hortons French vanilla? <laughs> Tim Hortons French vanilla. Whoa, barbecue marinade. So. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Here, what time does the movie start? Oh, uh, <laughs> 6.45. Well, the previews, The but previews, but we're previews people. We, look, we enter the previews exactly the same amount as the movie. <sighs> Do we say what we're going to see? I don't even know what it's called. It's like on Chelsea Beach or on Chelsea Bay. Chelsea. Sand dunes. I don't know. It's like a movie about an awkward couple. <laughs> That's like what it's about. So it's called on Chel Cheslin Beach. It's a big thing. It's a great movie, a great book. <laughs> it's gonna be an okay movie out here. But we're gonna find out. We're in theater. We time. really like the actress. We really do. We like her so much, we don't know her name. Yeah, uh, we're two of four people in this movie theater. The movie's done right now. Bring Shelly. Thank you. Special needs. Isn't she the coolest? She's my favorite. You're just trying to get me to tell you how not enjoyable that movie was. That was the worst movie I've ever seen. Okay, it was not the worst movie. It was very, I like the filming. I went to art school, so I saw a lot of films that I would say were less enjoyable. I like happy stuff, and I'm okay with sad stuff, but that was just too sad, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. It was too sad. Two people were in love, and then they had a huge fight. about the movie? Okay, the only way, not the only way, but one amazing way to cheer up after that movie is to watch the fireworks from the ferry boat, walk down Main Street with a fresh cup of water, say hi to two awesome families, so thank you for saying hi. Yeah, Alyssa and Brent. And then, I'm about to kick Sarah's butt on Buzz Lightyear and get Galactic Hero. Yep, you are. <laughs> Guaranteed it. Well, we both got it last time. And I forgot that Tomorrowland's still like incredible. Oh yeah. And I can hear it now. We have to can we go on people mover later? Yeah. Because didn't we hear that the people mover music has changed? No, it's not. Because I was I remember taking footage and hearing it, hearing Roz still. Wait, post. Purple wall. Purple wall. A purple wall. Clicky? That doesn't work. A drive-by purple wall? Yeah. Drive-by purple wall. Guys, look at this ridiculous drape. Star Commander, but this is where Buzz is. I never saw it, but there was an issue last week. Yeah. He was Mrs. Nesbitting. Oh, uh, he was Mrs. Nesbitting. Uh, we flipped rolls tonight. What? I got a time in the first round. That's my score. Or Sarah's score. It's never happened. <laughs> Yeah, we got stuck for like five seconds, but you only got like a thousand points then. Good job, baby. Check the status board to review your score. Remember, to infinity and beyond. The whole point of that was to cheer up, Peter. <laughs> well, it didn't quite work out. So. I did the worst I think I've ever done in that. Well, we are going on the people mover. That's a classic. To investigate because we've heard that the model of Progress City is not is like blacked out. Which uh, Peter Rambles 
For the longest time, nobody actually knew in the Walt Disney Company who had rights to that miniature. They didn't know if it was like facilities or asset management or Imagineering. Um, so that's why it went so like so many decades without it being repaired because they didn't know technically who had the rights to repair it. I wonder if they and there were even like miniature like fan companies like that like all they do is take care of miniature or like live sets and they were like offering like to donate their time and resources to restore it but they're like no legally we don't know who has rights to touch it. Did so, you learn that in one of your classes on the college? Yeah program? I learned it on one of my history CP classes. So literally like if Disney let this organization come in and fix it and they found out a different part and our company owned it they could have been like sue you. Along the way, you can preview many of the exciting places you'll want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. Suspicious. And it's not fixed at all, like the one is still half the off. cell phone app full of all of like our spots. Water at Morocco, free smells at the big top souvenirs. What else is a thing? We have plenty. We do. Watching the fireworks behind the castle. Yeah, fireworks behind the castle. There's more than this. I just, yeah. I'm getting stage fright. Boat. But we're here to see what kind of candy. Chocolate. Judo chocolate. We're here to see what kind of candy they're making and or just dis displaying because it is later in the evening. Delicious looking candy. Millennial pink stuff. Um, they should have pride. I think they got pride oh, Mickey's pride over there. Candy. Please put a comment down below if you also agree with me that LeFou needs a meet and greet. Even if just for special occasions. But I don't think I've ever seen one and I think the world just needs that right now. And conditioner feels amazing. <laughs> My toes are sweating. We have not done this. I don't know if we've done this this year. We are in Maurice's workshop. You work for Maurice? Yeah, he's a great employer. <laughs> Maurice works for you? <laughs> it's a mutual relationship. Bonjour. Welcome to the home of Belle and her father, Maurice. Take me back to the day Bell and Beast fell in love. Welcome to the castle, everyone. Stay right where you are, and in just a moment, we're all going to enter right through the center of the workbench. Let's see all the lights. But of course. We have to. But I lost my phone. This <laughs> and we day can is just. See it. This day is it's just, just uh, like. It's going against me. 
Okay, we got it, so. Phew. I don't know how that happened though, because like these jeans are tighter. I didn't pull the phone out at all when I was on the ride. I was just like enjoying it. I do think it's good to have that app if you're going to be in the parks because we were literally able to find able it to immediately. Lock it, find it, place noises, put Sarah's phone number on there. Yeah. Um, so if somebody did find it and we weren't here, like we were at Beauty and the Beast or in the park somewhere, it could have been done. That's how close we parked. Perks of getting there at 9.30. <laughs> yeah, perks of being here at 9.30 when there's not even park attendants, like parking yeah. lot attendants. Alrighty, we're doing something a little different tonight. Because we're doing something different tomorrow. Yeah, so we are going to sign off. We're not going to bed quite yet. I'm gonna edit today's vlog so it can go up tomorrow morning. Peter's gonna Just do some dishes and do dishes fold and laundry. laundry. Uh-huh, and so we're just gonna sign off. And so we'll so Sarah can get it ready. Cause it's already 12.46 in the morning. Yeah. So Sarah's about to edit a whole vlog right now. But it's because- It'll feel so good not to edit tomorrow though. Yeah, because tomorrow morning we're actually going to Katie and Dustin's to have breakfast mm -hmm. early. Yep, and, and then I'm we're gonna, gonna go to Animal Kingdom after. Yeah, then we're gonna straight to Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna, hopefully I'll be going on a run in the morning. If not, I'll With be going on a run. Shoes. With new shoes. If not, I will go after Animal Kingdom cause we're not gonna be there super late. Yeah, but because... we still wanna get up early tomorrow and get situated. Alrighty. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh, and we forgot to mention this is our fuel. These were in the the pack that we had just got, so thank you. You're welcome. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>